Question 4. A. State the hybridization of carbon atoms and CCH bond angle in benzene. Okay, so first, you must know how the benzene looks like. So, benzene C6H6. So, means each carbon is going to bond to one hydrogen and another two carbon. Okay, which look like this. Because now the question asks, state the hybridization. So we know that whenever the carbon with double bond, most likely is going to be sp2. So the carbon hybridization is the sp2, which is something like this. So 1s and 2p orbitals Okay, they undergo hybridization from these three uh, hybrid orbitals and another p orbitals will remain unhybridized. And these three hybrid orbitals will form three sigma bond. Okay, for example, this carbon will form one sigma bond with H, another sigma bond with C, another sigma bond with C. And this p orbital, the unpaired electrons in the p orbital will undergo sideway overlaps to form pi bond. So this is the hybridization. Okay, first you need to mention hybridization of carbon is sp2, and the CCH bond is 120. Okay, CCH bond. So because the carbon is the trigonal uh, planar geometry, so the bond angle is 120. And after that, you have to explain how the orbital overlaps, okay, which going to form the sigma and pi bonds in the benzene ring. Okay, this is what I told you just now. Sigma bonds are formed by heads on overlap of sp2 sp2 means uh, carbon and carbon the carbon and carbon will undergo H on overlap i mean the hybrid orbitals will undergo H on overlap okay and form sigma bond or it can be the hydrogen with carbon so it's the s sp2 so s is the hydrogen the s orbital with the hybrid orbitals in the carbon so it can be this or this. The pi bond is very easy. So it's formed by sideways overlap of the P. It means this carbon and this carbon, both they have the unpaired electrons in P orbital. And these uh, orbitals, they will undergo sideways overlaps and form one pi bond. Part B. Compound Z, this one, can be synthesized from benzene in three steps. Um, so be, uh, we have to compare the benzene and the Z. So because after the reaction, it has two groups that added in, which is alkyl group and the amine. Then it's better for us to start with the addition of the alkyl group because we know that alkyl group is 2,4 directing. It's 2,4 directing. Means after this alkyl group added, if you direct the addition of the uh, nit nitrate group, eventually it will form amine group. So again, we start from the addition of the alkyl group so means the step one, this is going to be alkylation. We're going to add this alkyl group into the benzene ring first. Okay, how we add? So we must use the <coughs> halogenyl alkene together with the catalyst. So this one, okay, if you look carefully, so it's actually CH2. Sorry, CH3, CH3, CH. So we just need to add this one. CH3, bracket 2, CHBr. 
So we use this halogenol alkene with the catalyst ALBR3. So therefore, the alkyl group can be added in. So it will form this compound X. Okay, after that, you need to uh, undergo nitration. Step two means it's a nitration. And we need to use the concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4. Uh, condition is uh, 50 to 60 degrees C. We just put 55 degrees C. Okay, so when we use these two reactants and this temperature, so the nitrate group will be added to the fourth position. So this is first position, second, third, fourth. Okay, again, when we have this alkyl group, this is going to be uh, two, four directing. Means the nitro group here, NO2, it can bond to this carbon or this carbon. Of course, in this question, it's going to bond to this carbon, the fourth carbon. So that's why we need to start from the uh, alkylation first, this one. And after it's formed this nitro benzene, this nitro group, so this nitro group need to undergo reduction means uh, we have to let this NO2 to form NH2. So means remove oxygen at hydrogen. So for this nitro benzene, if we want to reduce it, we must use thin and concentrated HCl. You can put heat. Right? So with this, then the nitro group will form this phenyl amine. So this is how we make the product, right? So it means the this compound Z, right, from the benzene. Okay, part C, compound W is the an isomer of Z. Give the systematic name of W. So first you need to uh, know the main structure. In this uh, compound, the main structure is the phenylamine, this one. This is the major name. So this we call phenylamine, phenylamine. And in this phenylamine, the first carbon is this. The carbon that bond to the amine. So this is first carbon. So first, second, third. Okay, so it's three, four, Five. So at this three, four, five position, it has one methyl group each. So therefore, we just name three, four, five, trimethyl phenylamine. Now, this is the name. And the last part, part D, complete table four point one to show the numbers of peaks observed in the carbon thirteen NMR. Carbon thirteen NMR. You, we need to know how many how many how many different uh, carbons uh, eventually give different signals. Uh, we start with uh, W. Okay, W. So let's start with this carbon. So this is this carbon will give one signal. These two carbon actually they are similar. So this one will give uh, another signal. These two. So means this one. And these two carbon also, they are similar. So it will give another signal. And this carbon also will give another signal. Okay, these two carbon will give another signal. So five. So it's five picks ready. And this carbon also will give another signal. So total is going to form one two, three, four, five, six. So six peaks there. So W will form six peaks in the carbon-13 animal. Okay, how about Z? Okay, Z is this. So how many different carbon uh, in there to give the uh, signals? Okay, this one is one. Okay, two, three, Four, five, 
six. So same as the W. So therefore also six. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.